لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد سيد الأولين والآخرين وعلى آله وصحابته والتابعين لهم بإحسان النام الدين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم من دوات الصلاة وانتهينا فصل وخمس صلوات فرض عين وهي كفاية لميت دون مين وروضها التكير أربع عن دعاء ونية سلام سر تبع وكالصلاة الغسل, الغسل دفن وكفن وتر كسوف عيد استسقى سنا فجر رغيبة وتقضى للزوال والفرض يقضى أبدا وبالتوال ودب نفل مطلقا وأكيد التحية ضحا تراوح تلت وقبل وتر مهل ظهر عصري وبعد مغري ومعروه بصر ما خمس صلوات فرض عين يعني أن الصلوات لا يفرض منهن على الصحيح عند الجمهور إلا خمس صلوات أما الوتر فليس فرضا ولا واجبا عند الجمهور خلافا لأبي حنيفة خمس صلوات في اليوم والليلة كما في الحديث الصحيح فرض عين وهي يعني الصلاة كفاية لميت دون مين دون كذب. All praise is due to Allah may his peace and blessings be upon his prophet Muhammad and his family and companions and followers until the day of judgment. Glory be to you O Allah we have no knowledge except that which you have taught us. Indeed you are the all knowing and the all wise. We had concluded the last uh, chapter about the uh, about the uh, uh, things that are disliked uh, in the prayer, such as, and they concluded with uh, with, with uh, putting the fingers together, popping the fingers, cracking the fingers, and so on. Uh, now, uh, closing the eyes. Now, uh, we have reached the chapter of Fard Ain and Fard Al Kifaya, uh, and uh, it talks about the first thing. It says the first there are five prayers uh, that are, are obligatory, and. and um, uh, <laughs> the five prayers are obligatory and as far as uh, <laughs> and as far as the uh, the janazah prayer it is a fard kifaya which means that a certain people have to do it but if nobody does it then the obligation is not fulfilled <laughs> والدعاء بعد ذلك والتكبيرة الثانية والثالثة والرابعة أربعا دعاء بين كل تكبيرتين ويكفي قول الإنسان اللهم اغفر له وارحمه أو اللهم اغفر لها وارحمه ولكن الدعاء بهرارة أفضل and uh, it mentions the obligatory acts of uh, of the of the جنازة prayer and الدعاء هو تكبير نعم so it is required, it is obligatory in the janazah prayer uh, to say the Allahu Akbar four times and to make dua between the takbiras and the spaces between the takbiras uh, and to make the dua, Oh Allah, forgive him and grant him mercy. Allahumma khfir lahu arham. This is sufficient. This is sufficient, uh, uh, but then there's a lengthier dua that is uh, uh, preferred. دعاؤه بهرارته والأفضل اللهم إنه عبدك وابن عبدك وابن أمتك كان يشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وأن محمدا عبدك ورسولك وأنت أعلم به اللهم إن كان محسنا فزجي إحسانه إن كان مسيئا فتجاوز عن سجياته اللهم لا تحرمنا أجره ولا تفتنا بعده إن كان رجلا 
إن كانت امرأة يؤني الله أما إنها أمتك وابن أمت أمتك ولا تعبدك كانت تشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وأن محمد عبدك وأنت أعلم عبدك ورسولك وأن تعلم بها اللهم إن كانت محسنة فزد في إحسانها وإن كانت مسيئة فتجاوز عن سجياتها اللهم لا تحرمنا أدرها ولا تفتنا بعدها وإن كان هنين تقول اللهم إنهما عبداك وإن كانوا جماعة اللهم إنهم عبيدك وأبناء عبيدك وإن كنا إناثا فقل اللهم إنهن إماؤك فلتكو جملة الدعاء كالصلة على ضمير اللائق مشتملة and uh, this dua that uh, the Sheikh mentioned, there's different. The dua that is mentioned by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, narrated by him, uh, and it differs uh, whether the person is one man, or you know, two men, or um, a, a woman, or multiple multiple women, and so on. Uh, that the dua differs as far as you're saying, "Oh Allah, forgive him, forgive her, forgive them." And the them for for females is different uh, if it's exclusively females. And so on, uh, the, this dua should be learned, but it's not obligatory. So then uh, it mentions that the next obligation is the intention that a person must intend that they're praying uh, for the deceased and then the salam at the end which, which is uh, uh, obligatory and the, to say it silent, silently is, is preferred and for the Imam, he should say it only, uh, not too loud, he should say it silently, but only loud enough for the people behind him to hear him so the people behind them can follow as well. And then uh, as the prayer is obligatory, so is the washing of the dead, the, the entire body of the dead person. Uh, and the preferred is three times, but the obligation is to do so once. Uh, and also to dress them uh, 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 with um, uh, that the whole body should be covered. Um, <coughs> and what is uh, obligate, what is beyond that as far as uh, details is uh, is, is uh, preferred and not required. And <laughs> عيد عيد الأضحى وعيد الفطر الاستسقاء لجلب المطر سنة هذه أربعة. and he mentions here uh, uh, four sunnah prayers to give them a uh, exception from the fard for the fard ayn or fard kifaya. he says the witr prayer which is uh, uh, preferred 
uh, and it is sunnah, it is a strong sunnah in every madhab, except in the Hanafi madhab, it goes to the level of even being wajib. wajib. And uh, the Salat al Kusuf, which is the prayer of the eclipse, is also a sunnah, uh, and so is the Eid, and so is Al Eid la tatkun fardain, fardak al Eid. And then uh, uh, the Salat al Istisqa, which is the rain prayer, these are all sunnahs. فجر الرغيبة صلاة الفجر ليس معنى الفرض معناها الركعتان يعني ذلك الركعتين اللتين قبل صلاة الصبح بعد طلوع الفجر هذا رغيبة والفرق بين الرغيبة والسنة والندب أن الرغيبة مقام بين الندب والسنة رغيبة ما فيه رغب النبي لأجل ما فيه من الخير شبه يعني شيء رغب فيه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كثيرا فوق النبي ودون السنة and uh, the Fajr, uh, meaning the two rak'ahs of uh, Sunnah prayer before the Subh prayer. Uh, just to clarify, we call the uh, the Fajr, when we say Fajr, we tend to uh, the Fard morning prayer. But actually, the Fajr is the two rak'ahs of Sunnah before that morning prayer, which is called Subh. Uh, after uh, Fajr, meaning the time of Fajr that has entered, meaning that the, that the sun has uh, begun, uh, reached a level where its light starts to emerge, but of course the sun is still be well below the horizon. Um, these two rakahs of Sunnah are uh, at Raleigh. such a level where they're called Raghiba, which is something that is strongly recommended, strongly desired, something that the Prophet has encouraged uh, heavily uh, for a person to pray before, and it goes to the level of. Uh, Above uh, the, the level of being mandub. And uh, peop, some people have said that the Fajr prayer, the, the Fajr uh, Sunnah, uh, is uh, uh, a Sunnah. Uh, that is a, uh, that is a Sunnah. And uh, and uh, as far as uh, the Sunnah Mu'akkadah prayers, uh, none of them can be made up uh, you know, once their time leaves or after their time, except for th these <coughs> two rakahs of uh, the Fajr Sunnah, which are made up, or the Fajr Raghiba, which are made up, uh, which are allowed to be made up uh, as long as the Duha prayer has not come in. والفرض يقضى أبدا وبالتوالي يعني أن من عليه فرض يجب عليه أن يقضيه سواء تركه عمدا أو نسيانا يجب عليه أن يقضيه لا فرق بين العمد والنسيان خلافا لما يفتي به بعض الناس الآن من أن من ترك الفرض عمدا فقد كفر والعياذ بالله وأنه لا يجب عليه القضاء هذا هذه فتوى باطلة جدا فمن ترك الفرض عمدا بدون استحلال لا يكون كافرا وأنما هو فاسق ومن استحل ترك الفرض so as far as the the, fard, the fard prayers, they are uh, required to be made up whether they are left uh, intentionally or uh, or forgetfully or unintentionally. Yeah, as far as uh, some people say today that oh you know you don't have to make up the fard prayers if you missed if you intentionally didn't pray the fard prayers. Because if you intentionally miss the fard prayers, then that makes you a disbeliever, and then you're re-entering into Islam, so you don't need to make up those prayers that you missed. That's not correct. If a person leaves the prayers uh, without saying that they're not obligatory, that they just stop doing them, and then they will owe all of those prayers that they have uh, missed, and they will not enter into disbelief, they will enter into disobedience. <laughs> كذلك أيضا يجب القضاء بالترتيب إن كان عالما إن كان عارفا بالترتيب كمن ترك صلاة من الأمس ظهرا ومغربا ويعلم أن الظهر هي الأولى المغرب فيقضيهما على التوالي لكنه ليس شرطا. But as far as if a person, uh, so if a person leaves some prayers and they know, or if a person is making up prayers or remembering, during making up prayers, if a person knows the order of the prayers that they may that they may have missed. Then they need to make the, up those prayers in the order. Like somebody knows I missed, you know, Dhuhr and Asr yesterday. Then uh, they should, they must pray Dhuhr first. But if he does not do so, then his prayer will still be valid.
نعم ومن عليه القضاء يجب عليه يترك كل شيء من النوافل ما عدا الوتر والرغيب والشفع والعياد صلوات الأعياد وهكذا فقط لا يأتي بالركعات الأربع قبل الظهر ولا بعده ولا التراويح ولا ولا الضحى لا أي نفل so if a person يجب عليه يترك الجميع ويشتغل بالقضاء فلا يتنفل من عليه القضاء if a person owes years of prayers or owes some prayers that they have not made up, then they should not pray uh, uh, the uh, optional prayers, the mandub prayers. Uh, Except for the water prayer, uh, and, and the, the, the Eid prayers and such. Uh, or the Raghiba, which is the two rakahs uh, before Fajr, uh, before Subah. Uh, uh, or the uh, the the kusuf and the sisqa, meaning the eclipse prayer and the rain prayer. Yes, uh, those are the only exceptions. Uh, besides that, a person like the Dhuha Sunnah and the Maghrib Sunnah, what's called Isha Sunnah, extra tawheed, so then he must he must stop praying all those extra prayers and spend his time that would be spent doing those if he has time <coughs> and make up the fault prayers that he has missed. والأجر على ذلك أكثر بكثير جدا. And the reward for doing that is much greater than praying those extra prayers. أرى كثيرا من الناس يحب لا ينفصل مع هذه السنن وهذه التهجد وهذا الشهوة النفسية. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث حديث القص من رب العالمين قال أحب ما أحب ما تقرب إلي عبدي به بما افترضته عليه وكما. That uh, uh, that a person then, uh, you know, some people they say that oh, but I love praying to Hajjud and I love praying these Sunnah prayers and so on. This is a person who is going following his desires, and he's doing it out of desire because if he knows what truly Allah valued, the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah said that uh, my slave does not come closer to me with anything better than that which I have made obligatory upon him. So the things that Allah loves the most. So the things that Allah loves most is uh, the things that Allah has made obligatory. So do the fault first before you do anything extra. And the scholars have said, <laughs> the scholars have said that there is two equal uh, ways of worship that you can do. One of them is appealing to your desires and the other one is not appealing to your desires. Uh, then do the one that is not appealing to your desires. Yeah. <laughs> خلاف النفس هو أصل كل خير منها النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى. So go to go against the whims and the the النفس والهوى. The poem says it says and and contradict the nafs and the shaytan and 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 turn them away. So one should. وإنهما ما حضاك النص حفتهم وإنهما أتاك بنص حقولهم. And if they advise you with something that they make you feel. وإنهما لا آمن. That something is, you know, better or or are advising you towards something, then accuse them. You know, don't trust them. Tell them I don't trust you. So uh, uh, the all types of goodness become uh, unlocked once somebody, uh, you know, uh, has a control over themselves, over their self. Yeah. <laughs> طلب العلم وقيامه بمصالح المسلمين إن كان قادرا على ذلك وبث الدعوة على أن يدبله أن يشغل وقاته بالنفل لما في الحديث ولا يزال عبدي يتقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى أحبه إذا هذا الكلام نذيب أنا في المطلقة لمن لم يشغل وقاته بالفرائض السنن وبخدمة المسلمين if, 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 if,
الذي ادى فرضه اللي ادى فرضه وما عنده شيء اهم من ذلك تعليم العلم so as far as the uh, uh, the optional things and the extra prayers and the worship and so on the things that are preferred that are mandub then when should those be done those should be uh, fulfilled once a person has their fard already fulfilled and they don't have anything more important to do such as teaching knowledge or gaining their fard knowledge and so on uh, once the, uh, they're, they're, they don't have any of those things and they've already fulfilled their obligations and they have you know now uh, uh, availability to do something then do your uh, uh, mandub things do the preferred things <laughs> Uh, then do the uh, uh, a lot of nafil, uh, do a lot of preferred things because uh, the uh, 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 continuation of that hadith is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, my servant does not continue and insist upon doing the nawafil, upon the nafil things, the extra supererogatory uh, acts of worship until I love him. So it, it causes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love you additionally uh, on top of doing the, the fadl. وكدت لكن النفل متفاوت المراتب إذا النفل مطلقة مندوب في الوقت الذي يباح به النفل ولكن تؤكد التحية ما في الحديث الصحيح إذا دخل أحدكم المسجد فلا يجلس حتى يصلي ركعتين. And even the nafil itself, it's a different levels. Uh, and uh, there is uh, one that was mentioned. There's one that is mentioned here that is مؤكد. Uh, 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 that is, uh, uh, you know, a uh, uh, very highly affirmed uh, nafil, which is the two rak'ahs that one prays, as tahiyyat al-masjid, that the Prophet ﷺ said, if one of you enters the masjid, then they should not pray or talk, they should not sit or talk, until they pray have prayed two rak'ahs. He should not sit down until he prays two rak'ahs. Tahiyyatun duha wa aqalluhu rak'atani وسطه ست وعلاه ثمانية وهنا عشر هذا مندوب أيضا الضحى بعد حل النافلة وشيخ مع تحية المسجد ماذا يفعل إذا كان في وقت الكرام يترك عنه تحية المسجد ليس مطلوبا بها يراد أن يفعل خلق سبحان الله الحمد لله الله الله أكبر وضعنا So as far as uh, the uh, the تحية المسجد the سورة as a person Praise uh, when he enters the masjid. Once he is in the forbidden times or the disliked times for prayer, such as between the asr and, between uh, asr and maghrib and uh, between uh, fajr and uh, duha, then he must. Uh, uh, then he should not pray those two rakahs nafil of entering the masjid. And if he wants to do something good to replace it, then he should enter the masjid saying, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. Wallahu, Wallahu Akbar. Arba'a marat. Uh, four times. And then uh, the... Duha. Uh, uh, and then the duha prayer should be prayed. Uh, also, it is one of the uh, the higher level uh, nafil prayers, and it should be at least two rak'ahs. And then the middle is about six, and the higher amount is eight or twelve. نعم دوحان وتراويح وانتلت كذلك أيضا التراويح مندوبة ركعتان أو أربعة أو ستة أو ثمانية ولكن أفضل أن تكون عشرين ركعة بعد الشفر والوتر هي ثلاث وعشرون من بعض العلماء يختار أحد عشر ركعة وإثنى عشر ركعة بعد الوتر هي ثلاثة عشر كان مالك رحمه الله تعالى في آخر عمره يصليها في البيت أحد عشر ركعة وإذا أتى إلى المسجد يصليها ثلاثا وعشرين حتى لا يخالف إجماع عمر وإذا كان في البيت يصليها كما كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يصلي في البيت لا يتجاوز أحد عشر ركعة. So uh, as far as the tarawih. No. نعم. As far as the tarawih prayer, then uh, it is also one of the stronger uh, nafil prayers to do, and it should be done four rakahs or six rakahs or eight rakahs, but the preferred. Is to do it uh, as a uh, twenty-three rakahs, uh, uh, and that is um, uh, uh, twenty uh, plus the uh, uh, plus the shafa and the witr, which would make it twenty-three, and uh, uh, that is what is preferred to do as tarawih. This is what Umar عنه, you know did with the with the Muslims, and uh, and this is what the Muslims have continued to do. Uh, afterwards. Uh, well, 
and if uh, it is also permissible to do a, a, a ten rakahs at home, and this is what Imam Malik did because the Prophet Sallallahu and the Ahl Bayt they were they said that the Prophet Sallallahu you know did not exceed. أكثر من كم عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما صلى في رمضان ولا في غير حديث البخاري أكثر من 11 ركعة أكثر من رواية هلات 12 ركعة بعد الوتر في هلات 10 ركعة نواز عائشة رضي الله عنها حديث البخاري مسلم إن حديث البخاري مسلم ذا بروسس ما زاد رمضان في غير ما زاد رمضان في غير إن رمضان أو outside of رمضان praying at home of 11 ركعات or 13 ركعات بمالك عمل بذلك في بيته وإلى أتار المسجد يصلي هلاه معشرين. This is what Imam Malik did in his household, but if he prayed tarawih in the masjid, then he would pray it. حتى لا يخالف إجماع عمر لأن الإجماع أقوى من أحاديث الأحا. And he would do so because of the إجماع of عمر, and the إجماع is a stronger proof than. A singular hadith, even if it's authentic. جمع وجمع ممكن هذا يقال له عند العلماء عمل الدليلين جمع واجب ما تام أمكن إذا كان الأمران يمكن الجمع بينهما هذا أحسن حتى يعمل الدليل في أمكن الجمع بينهما في أحمل ذلك تكل أحد على ما كان في البيت وأحمل ثلاثة وعشرين إذا جاء إلى المسجد. So the scholars. قال الأدلة التي واجب ما تام أمكن. There's a scholarly uh, principle that if, uh, there's a way to uh, bring, uh, uh, that you have two things that seem contradictory. If there's a way to reconcile them in which they do not contradict, then that's, that's generally the better approach. Like in this case, what Imam Malik did is if he prayed at home, then he would do the, the prayer that Aisha who knew the Prophet ﷺ's prayer at home, said he prayed at home that he did not exceed 11 or 13. But if he prayed in the masjid, then he would do the, the method that uh, Umar Umar did, and, and the, 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 the people had agreed upon uh, as the method during the time of Umar <laughs> So by this he was bringing, uh, giving each one of these, he was uh, giving each one of the two proofs uh, their, their proper place. لتاني قبل الوتر الشفع هذا أيضا مؤكد من الندر مثل ظهر العصر كذلك أيضا النافلة قبل الظهر وأقلها ركعة تاني وأفضلها أربع وكذلك بعد العصر مندوبة وبعد المغرب وبعد الظهر قبل الوتر يعني الشفع مثل ظهر قبل الظهر and he mentions also from the stronger نفلس is the and the one before Witr, which is the Shafi'ah prayer, uh, and also وَيَسْكُنْ شَفَعَ يَعْنِي مَعَ الْوِتْرِ رَكَعَتَانِ مَنْدُوبَتَانِ الْأُولَى فِيهِمَا سَبِّحْ بَعْدَ الْفَاتِحَ وَالثَّانِي يَبْعَدَهَا قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُ هَا تَانِ الشَّفَعَ وَالْوِتْرِ سُنَّ فَيَتْرُكْ يُسَلِّمْ بَيْنَهُمَا نَدْبًا وَالْجَمْعُ بَيْنَهُمَا مَكْرُوفِ مِنْ الْمَالِ so uh, it is uh, uh, here he mentions that the two uh, rakahs basically before the witr, which is uh, the shafa' prayer, which a person prays. Uh, the first, uh, the, uh, the the preferred is to read in the first rakah, sabih isma rabbik al ala and qul ya al kafirun in the second rakah, and then to do the salam after these two, uh, and this would be fulfilling this nafil, and then to pray the witr afterwards is a sunnah as we have uh, proceeded, and to pray them as three rakahs together. This is disliked in the Maliki Madhab. Uh, as far as the Dhuhr uh, Sunnah, uh, 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 sorry, the Dhuhr uh, and Mandub prayer, the Dhuhr, uh, uh, this Nafil prayer, if to kun Arba. If Natanik Takfiyan, what Arba Yel of Bad? Kabla Wabad. Kabla Wabad. So uh, to pray two before and two after is uh, suffices. And to pray four before and four after is better. Uh, <coughs> 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 that, uh, that the best uh, for the Asr prayer is to do four before it, but two before it would be fulfilling uh, this nafil. The Prophet said, May Allah have mercy on an individual who prays four rak'ahs before Asr. وبعد مغرب وأقله 
And then after Maghrib, uh, and the least is two, and the most and the best is six. And to pray a plentiful nafil between Maghrib and Isha is something that has been established in many uh, hadiths. And, uh, and, and he uh, said, and again, uh, and he says over here, and after Dhuhr, uh, uh, basically all of those nafils attached to the prayers are before them, before the Witr, before the Dhuhr and the Asr and Maghrib, and after is only after the Dhuhr here. Uh, and there is a nafil that is associated with Aisha uh, uh, before it and after it as well. No. Um, and there is a nafil that is associated with and then the tahajjud prayer or the qiyam al layl prayer, which literally means to rise up from the, the sleep and, and, and to pray, uh, which uh, a requirement of it is to actually sleep and then wake up. Uh, so it has to be after some sleep at night uh, and then a person wakes up and uh, so it would be in the second half of the night to pray uh, any amount of rakahs two, four, whatever but then the best is the, what was mentioned of the night prayer of the Prophet uh, which was uh, 11 or 13 and this is a very strong uh, uh, nafil to the point that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that uh, the, describing the righteous uh, believers that Allah said that their their sides they leave or they abandon uh, uh, their, their their resting places uh, uh, calling out to their Lord uh, calling out to their Lord in fear and in hope and in hope of, uh, of, of goodness from him and uh, or seeking uh, goodness from him and and give and they give out of that which we have uh, uh, bestowed them Allah says, Allah says and no and self knows and no one knows the, the, the extent of the of the coolness of the eyes and the great things that Allah has prepared for them as a reward for that which they used to do and what was mentioned in this verse that they used to do is this uh, the, this uh, tahajjud prayer and the charity and this is a, uh, important to understand over here that these nafils are only to be done after a person has fulfilled their fard and has learned their fard and knows how to fulfill these things. Because if a person still has not learned their fard and they're busy doing something that is beneath the fard, then this is a disobedience uh, by the consensus of the scholars. And they're not only wasting their time, but they're uh, hurting themselves also. It is forbidden according to the Quran and the Sunnah and consensus. 
وهذه ابتلاء ابتلى الله تعالى به عوامل المسلمين على اشتغالهم بالنوافل وبالتهجد وبالاذكار بدون علم هذا ابتلاء من الله تعالى هذا ابتلاء من الله تعالى This is a great test that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tested people nowadays with the general public that they go into uh, you know the extra nafil prayers and the dhikr and so on and tahajjud and all of this and they still have not fulfilled their fawd فعوام المسلمين انا مبتلون بهذا ومحاضرهم مبتلون بالمحاضرات دون تعليم العلم النافع ودون الاشتغال بالاذكار التي تلزمهم والصلوات التي تلزم المحاضرات الفارغه من تعليم فرض العين وتعليم العلم النافع. And the speakers today they are afflicted with the same problem that they uh, uh, have entered into speaking into preaching when they have not fulfilled the, their obligations and not taught even people their obligations. They don't direct people and teach them the, 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 what their obligations are. The the, they don't teach people the uh, beneficial knowledge, which is the knowledge that is necessary to fulfill one's daily obligations uh, <coughs> to their self, to their Lord, to their family, and so on. <coughs> and to the, to, the, to the public and to the... Alhamdulillah, uh, Hassan ibn Khadim, Allah Ta'ala, said, المحاضرات في الزمني للجهلاء أدهاء أدهاء المحاضرات في الزمني للجهلاء أدهى دواهي الفتن هي أعظم دواهي الفتن. And Muhammad Hassan. هذا من أعلم علمائنا الآن في موريتانيا. From the most knowledgeable scholars today in Mauritania, he said that the speakers uh, that the speeches uh, uh, have led. المحاضرات في الزمني للجهلاء أدهى دواهي الفتن. That is the is the greatest source of fitna uh, for the. Uh, uh, for the people. He mentioned that uh, this, these become just gatherings where uh, young men and women <laughs> go out and, and th th they are a source of fitna for each other and they're all just going to the same place and gathering uh, and, and being a source of fitna for each other. And, and he said even the speeches about things that are in regard to rulings and things that, that, that aren't even practical or applicable directly to the people. And if he had come to America, he would have seen that this uh, is... That he would have seen the real problem. Uh, because what he saw in Mauritania is only a small, a small, small bit of the, the, the problem that exists. <laughs> And here truly it is the misguiding uh, uh, temptations. And السلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا محمد حبيب الحق وعلى اله وصحبه وكل من تبعه بالحق يا ارحم الراحمين يا ارحم الراحمين يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اسالك يا ذا الجلال والاكرام ان تستجيب لنا دعوتنا وان تعطينا رغبتنا وان تغنينا عن من اغنيته عنا من خطيئه اللهم اصلح لي ديني الذي هو عصمه امري 
واصلح لي دنياي التي فيها معاشي واصلح لي اخرتي التي فيها مقلبي اللهم اصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة امورنا واصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا واصلح لنا اخرتنا التي اليها منقلبنا ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه وهجئ لنا من امرنا رشدا وهجئ لنا من امرنا رشدا وهجئ لنا من امرنا رشدا وما قضيت علينا من قضاء فاجعل عاقبته لنا رشدا وما قضيت علينا من قضاء فاجعل عاقبته لنا رشدا وما قضيت علينا من قضاء فاجعل عاقبته لنا رشدا ربنا اغفر لنا ربنا اغفر لنا ولاخواننا الذين سبقونا بما ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا انك انت الرحيم ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا انك انت العزيز الحكيم ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وانت خير الفاتحين ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وانت خير الفاتحين ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وانت خير الفاتحين ربنا اغفر لنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. اللهم مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك. اللهم مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك. اللهم مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك. يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتك. اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك يا مقلب القلوب قلب قلوبنا على طاعتك يا ارحم الراحمين ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتك يا ارحم الراحمين ارحم الراحمين الحمد لله الذي بنعمته وجلاله تتم الصالحات والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا محمد اكرم الكائنات افضل المخلوقات اشرف الكائنات وعلى اله واصحابه اصحاب المقامات سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك لا إله إلا 